right. Well, we're, I'm very pleased to have here Joe Janner with uh, the UPSL, uh, somebody that uh, really has meant a lot here this season uh, with some of the plans we have here in the Georgia Conference here. And uh, Joe, I wanted to uh, welcome you here to the uh, uh, Set Pieces podcast. And uh, how are you doing today? Andre, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me on here. Excited to get into this conversation. We've been talking for a bit to get this set up, and here we are today. Looking forward to sharing a little bit about myself and what we're doing to really push to get some of these initiatives going. Excited. Awesome, awesome. Well, let's start with that. You know, let's get a little, for, for a lot of people that may not know um, who you are and, and what you're doing with the UPSL, give us a little bit of a background on you and your role with the UPSL. Sure. I've been working within the industry, the youth soccer sphere, I'd say a good 13 years now, mostly as a coach, a little bit as a scout, but also then finding myself in administrative roles and helping with facilitating of different competitions. And then two years ago, January of 2022, got myself involved with UPSL. I am currently a conference manager with the Midwest South. That's a conference that operates more or less state of Kansas, state of Missouri, and we have 10 teams that are competing in this upcoming spring competition. And then also I have myself now in a role as assistant director of academy and women's divisions. So that's, I think, mostly what the relevancy of what we're talking about here today is what we're looking at with the academy division in Georgia. Looking forward to sharing more about what we, again, what we've talked about, where we're at and where we're going with it. Well, that, that sounds great. I mean, you, I, we've had some discussions offline and, and, uh, we've made attempts here in Georgia to get the academy going and even the women's division. And um, it, it has been sort of a challenge, but I wanted to kind of ask you, what have you seen when trying to help different conferences and not just in the UPSL, but in general, what have you seen as the biggest challenge that uh, faces a lot of uh, teams and conferences that are, that are trying to get an academy uh, established? I think probably them having a clear understanding of what UPSL has to offer. And I think that's an important part of this conversation is reminding those that are listening how being a part of the UPSL, having a team operating within the academy provides a great opportunity for players. Namely, I think most excitingly is that opportunity for them to be carted through the FIFA system. The fact that once a player, once a team has gotten themselves involved, they are now registering their players. They can show proof from day one that their players are operating within a system that lends itself to the pathway all the way up from the U13 to potentially as far as they can go as a player. I think that's an exciting part. So convincing them or rather showing them that that's a reality, I think has been one of the biggest challenges, but it's also at the same time, a great way to showcase what we have to offer. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and one of the things that I've always felt, you know, uh, I had an opportunity to live in Europe for a little while and see the game there and also the structure. Uh, and, and this is where, you know, being with the UPSL as a pro development type of operation, right? So you have amateur players, they're trying to get to that next level, whether it's in college, whether it's a professional career or, or otherwise, but it's a pathway. But I always felt, just like I saw in Europe, that one of the most important aspects of that is a youth academy system that supports your club. Because, you, you know, you, you start young to train and coach these, these players to where they can be uh, useful professionals and then attract the attention of scouts and, and coaches from, from abroad. And, you know, as you, as you see the development of that in the UPSL, um, how important is it to establish that in the UPSL with the adult teams and the adult, the adult clubs that you see there. And do you see that happening with, with uh, a lot of the clubs here in the UPSL? I think you mentioned it, yes. The importance is definitely there, but not only the player development, but I think for a club organizationally to provide that as a means to show that they are serious about player development in the UPSL, the teams I think that are doing that here, I mean, we hope, in Georgia soon enough are going to be providing an opportunity that's unique for the U.S. soccer landscape, something that I think that isn't really being done. And I think, again, UPSL provides this opportunity for both the player and the organization to be working hand in hand to help further develop players, provide them with opportunities and to show what they can do. And not only we're not even talking about what they can do on the field, we're also talking about the development, showing them what it looks like to be a young lady or young man developing through a system and giving them those opportunities. So I think seeing that 
here and seeing that and working as we go through the whole country to help develop these programs, I think we're really excited about what that can offer. Right, right. And, you know, it, and I, I think a lot about the the end result, you know, that, that comes with being in a youth program that's attached to an adult program, for instance. And so what what do you see as the the, the goal, uh, so to speak, of, of these these youth divisions? And, and speaking from a UPSL point of view, what's the goal to to getting these academies established and for the future of these young kids? I think it's just that if you get them in and they're already involved and they already have an exciting passion for the sport early on, but then they know that if they continue within their own community, if they continue within their own club, there's going to be potential further opportunities. I think that in itself is something to be excited about as a player, as an organization. Again, the UPSL, I think is doing a really good job of making sure it's that pathway again, that they are going to be provided by being a participant. If you are a participant in the Academy as an organization, a club, a team, and you have players, you're now giving them another opportunity to continue to have playing experience at the levels. And I think it's probably needed to be said at a high level. I think the experience and the playing opportunities are going to be at a level to challenge them, which for me as a coach, for me as a scout, looking at players as well, wanting to see them in these environments. I think this is a place for them to do that. Right. And, and uh, you, you mentioned you, you're working also with the women's division and and getting those things established. This is something uh, in addition to the academy here in Georgia conference that we hope to get started in Georgia as well. We have uh, a large uh, participation of in the game with the, the, the women. And um, do you see some of the same kind of challenges getting started with the women's division, or is it is it something special about them that's sort of a special challenge in getting it at, at least established first to get going? I think maybe even the word is different. It's a different experience as far as getting interest, getting the momentum, gathering different teams and clubs that have that already. One, if they're already have those connections or they're already running programs that allow for them to be able to have that outreach, that's going to help. If they're in a place in a situation where they may need to start something new, those are other, also opportunities. So it's different in a sense that it's a good opportunity for them to start something anew, I think is the best way to probably look at that. Right, right. So that's what we're going to be trying to do here in, in the Georgia Conference. I think a lot of people that have been following us for a little while now have seen a, a few attempts at, at trying to establish, um, you know, a youth system as well as a, a women's division. Um, it, it is a bit difficult because of the competition sometimes that's in the area. Um, you know, as, as you know, it, you know, it, there's there's a lot of youth soccer in, in the United States in general. Um, there's high school soccer. There, there's you know, youth clubs and, and and these types of things. What can you what can we say about the, the difference between those types of programs and what what the UPSL is trying to establish, if if you can kind of, you know, detail that out a little bit. I was trying to say, I mentioned before, I think the level of competition is going to be at or above what any other league or any other organization providing these types of competitions is going to present. So that in itself, if we're having a level of competition that's at or above, that for me is a means to attract more clubs and players into the system. At the same time, the barrier in terms of the finances to get involved are much lower. So seems to me almost a win-win situation. If you can get into a competition that's at or above what is taking place already, but at a lower cost, seems to me like that seems a, a good way or good path to get in. I think one of the means to attract a lot of good teams, clubs, and players in the area. Yeah, that, that's a very good point. I, I think it's very famous that the the academy system or the, the youth system here in the United States has been typically very expensive, which has been off putting to a lot of families that are, that are you know interested in getting their their children involved in the game at a higher level. And so this is this is a a, a welcome a, a addition to that. So I, I just want to kind of get to one last question here, and and it, it is probably an important one for uh, families and those who want to get involved if they wanted to get involved um, with UPSL at, at an academy level. What what is the structure first of all um, that that we're you know shooting for age groups, and how would they get established? How would they contact someone at the UPSL and say, "Hey, I have a child that I'd like to get involved." I think the first part is the structure. We are currently set up to operate U13, U15, and U17 teams within this program. So I think that's the first part. 
children, kids that are involved, families that have kids that are involved in those age groups would be the first to show the most interest. If they are interested in being a part, I think the first thing is to go online, find out the different teams that are operating. That's one part of a step to get involved. Also, the new team application for those coaches and those academy directors and those that are operating within the game that know that they have a team or they have a club that wants to be a part of it, get online, get a new team application. It's probably something we could even put in the comments to help them facilitate getting to that location. But that's probably the first step is really take a look in the UPSL website, see what's available there, looking to see what regions are operating, and then just reaching out through a couple different means very receptive, myself included. If you reach out, you'll hear from myself, maybe even directly at this point in time. So looking forward to hearing responses and getting and getting more people involved and interested in what we're doing. Well, that's great. That's great. And in fact, yeah, that's a good point. We'll put that down in, in the comment section uh, and the description, uh, the, the link that uh, anyone can use to uh, find out more information, for, first of all, about the league. But also, if you wanted to, to register uh, a player, uh, you can use that same link to to do that as well. But uh, Joe, I want to thank you for taking time out here uh, to talk to us here at, at uh, Center Circle and our uh, Set Pieces podcast. Um, I look forward to talking to you again soon because I'm you know I'm personally working you know with you in establishing that conference here, uh, that youth league here in the Georgia area. So we're going to be talking a lot more and seeing this progress. And then we'll, we'll do like a little uh, update later on in the season to see how things are going. Yes, Andre, appreciate it. Very happy to be a part of this. and looking forward exactly, like you said, to be working with you into the future and, and tracking the progress and be able to come back and, and talk about what progress we've made, be able to maybe showcase some teams and some players even that are involved in what we're doing. I have to, if you don't mind, shamelessly promote another podcast that I'm involved in, the sure. Pitch Pod. Also available on YouTube and Spotify. Check it out sometime. But I'm honored again. Thank you for having me on as a guest here. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem, man. And we'll put we'll put the information on your podcast in this in the description as well. And uh, yeah, guys, check it out and uh, you know support these guys, support these these youth players as we get this thing established. But we look forward to talking to you again, Joe. And uh, you have a good rest of the day.